Hello everyone, it's Vicky here designing for Hip Kit Club and I am using the September 2020 kits and it's Mixed Media Monday. So um, I start off with a piece of white thick cardstock and I'm going to coat it in clear gesso. So that's just me doing that there. Um, I'm going to use some water with some magical so I just want to protect the paper um, so that it doesn't um, fall apart. So I do that and put that aside to dry for a minute. And I also decide I want to colour these um, little wooden frames that are from Jen Hadfield's The Avenue Collection. And I put some white gesso on them because I'm going to paint them with, with the other magicals, the Plum Bake, Plum Bake Beige mag Magicals. Um, and actually they turn out almost the identical colour to what they are before they're painted. But hey-ho, <laughs> they've got a little bit of um, sparkling by the time I finish. So... Um, yeah, it's not all wasted. So I just put this white gesso onto the frames just to give a base for the paint. And um, I just pulled out a scrap piece of card from my um, recycling box to do that so, um, so that I didn't ruin my mats. Okay, so those I'm going to put to one side to dry as well. <laughs> clearing up my fingers there because um, it's a messy business mixed media <laughs> so now I'm going to dry my piece of cardstock completely with the gesso and um, I'm ready to go so I pull out the whale watch blue which was in the color kit as well as the um, the clam bake beige and I'm I just want to do a blue background but I want to blend this with another color so that I can um, have a slightly different shade to what's coming out but slightly more sort of aqua um and also some shine so this well watch blue is a flat color there's no sparkle in it and um so i'm just putting some water with that and sort of twisting my page back backwards and forwards and then i pull out this color which is called Jana's jade and we got that in a color kit quite a few months ago now. Um, if you get the colour kits, you'll have a nice stash of Lindy's. Um, but that one has some sparkle in, and it's also slightly more aqua, so it sort of gives um, more closer to the base colour that I wanted to achieve. So I've moved that around the page, I used my finger a little bit, and now I'm going to dry it with my heat tool. And by the power of video, we've skipped through that, and you can see it dry, and you can see the shimmer a little bit in there. So now I'm going to bring my frames back for a moment just to see how they look on the background that I've just made and I'm happy with how that looks. They work well with the shape that I achieved with my smooth, not my smooshing, my running and flicking. <laughs> so, um, so I'm back now to the frames and I'm going to use the clam bake beige to colour them. Now, um, what you'll see is actually it's a very similar colour to the wood anyway. It's dark when I darker when I put it on, but by the time I rub the paint in and dry it, it's it comes out much lighter. So it was almost like I didn't do anything to them, but if you've watched this video, you know I did. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> so there we go. So I'm gonna paint all of them and I decide as well that. Again, this is a flat colour, and I decide that I quite might quite like to put some um, sparkle into it. So I'm going to grab a colour that we also got quite a while ago, and it's called Grab a Guy Gold. And it's just a spray, so I just spray them all over and give them an extra little brush, and that just adds a little bit, a little bit of sparkle and. Actually, you can see that on the actual layout, there's some sparkle on the frames. So just dried those off. There you go, they look wood again. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna rearrange them onto the page. And that's how I want them to look. So I'm happy with that. And the next thing I'm going to do, I think, is some splatters with the Janus Jade. Yeah. So I'm just going to add some splatters around the page for an extra bit of interest. And they're nice and sparkly, those splatters. 
sort of it's got a really lovely shimmer and just soak up a couple of the really big ones and then I'm going to run my paper towel over it to um, just to dry those off a bit so they're quite subtle but you can see them well on the layouts so the next thing I'm going to do is cut out some leaves from some of the papers I cut some of these leaves off of the um, black and white floral that you see there um, I quite like the shape of those um, and they you know they they work really well with my theme so I'm going to skip through that in a moment I think I cut out about five or six leaves all together there we go and then I want to make some leaves out of this paper just on the split of this paper so that I've got the um, the offset zigzag on my leaves so I cut one free so draw it and cut it and then I just cut around that same leaf so that they're all the same size and I also cut some from the reverse of that paper so I've got some that are blue and white and some that are the floral green paper from the back so I'm going to just sort of play around with this for a minute and try and decide what I want to do with the leaves And I'm going to place them with those black and white ones as well. Okay, but I'm not, they're not going to stay in exactly those positions. I just want to sort of get an idea of what, what this is going to look like and where the picture is going to go. That's just a picture of my husband and my two nieces walking our dog. And um, yeah, I thought it was quite sweet. So I'm going to now stick these down, these frames down, because I know that I want them to go there. And I'm just using some Beacon 3 in 1 glue, which is really good for sticking this kind of thing. Apologies if you can hear my dog snoring. He's uh, laying in the background, <laughs> relaxing while I'm voice doing a voiceover for a video. He's pretty cute, though, even if he's pretty loud at snoring. Okay, so <laughs> all the frames are now stuck down and I'm going to start to embellish. So I'm going to fold all of the leaves in half because I want them to add some dimension to the page. So I fold them all in half and I skipped through that so you didn't have to watch me fold them all. And now I'm going to stick them down. So I'm going to stick two together in each position. And these black and white leaves over the top or just slightly underneath all of the clusters that I make. So I have three leaves there. Um, I decide to stick to two um, and just put them down into another position there. So all the sort of places that I can tuck something in, I've tucked something in. Okay, so just sticking those black and white ones in between for an extra bit of interest around those. And I'm liking how this is looking. It's quite a masculine look to it. But um, I wanted to have something that was sort of more outdoorsy, blues and greens. So I'm going to take these chipboard pieces and use quite a few of these on there. That's a tag. I'm taking the sticky off of the back of them just so that I can move them around the page for now. And, and I would always put glue onto the back of them anyway. Um, so that works. I tried out that pink piece, but I decided to keep pink out of this for now. Um, I love those pears on the little branch, the little pear up there in that frame. So I want to have something in each of the frames, or, you know, around each of the frames. So these are little bees that I put up there. They look pretty cute. And I get a little camera from here, which is a little green camera, which I put onto white paper and also um, the Together sticker. So I'm just going to make those into die cuts so that I can move them around and um, and they can be popped popped up without having, you know, w without the, the sticker sort of having to stick flat. So I just cut round those and... Um, 
yeah, it doesn't take too long. They're fairly simple. The word is a little bit more complicated than the camera, but it doesn't take too long. Okay, so that's that. And that's going to be my title there together. Nice and simple. I love that font, that scripty font. So now I'm going to start to stick things down. I just took a bit of extra cardboard off the back of that um, chipboard sticker just because I didn't want it to stick too far off the page when I put the photo on top. So I'm just going to skip through that, sticking everything down. Um, and now I want to put something in that top left frame. So I cut out one of the houses from the um, from that paper, which is bear with me, I will find it. That's the Maggie Holmes Marigold collection. That's where that's the paper the leaves came from as well, the same collection, and also the chipboard. So I think actually most of what's on here is from that collection, apart from the frames. So now I'm going to put my photo onto some vellum and just to add a little bit of a hazy feel around it. I didn't want to put any more papers on there because it's quite busy underneath already. So I'm going to stick that down on top of there and then I'm going to put just a little bit of foam on each end of that together sticker um, just so that it can go over the frame and then stick down either side like that. I think we're getting pretty close to the end now. Aha, no, the squirrels. <laughs> I'm on a squirrel kick. I have to have squirrels on every layout at the moment, so I'm going with a couple of little squirrels in a second. I try out a couple of other pieces which don't work, but the squirrels are going in. So one there by those leaves, and then another one just at the top of the photo. And that is it, that's the final layout. I do hope it gives you some inspiration for your outdoor pictures and your masculine pictures as well. Um, yeah, be sure to check out the colour kit each month because they're so versatile and you can do lots with them. So um, there's some close-ups, just to, you can see the sparkle a little bit better in those. But thank you so much for watching. This has been Vicky for Hip Kit Club. Bye-bye.